I'm bringing you guys another video today on how to set up Archie Steam Farm. It's going to be uh, hopefully nice and easy, uh, but we'll run right into it. Let's go. Uh, first, you're going to go to the first link. It's going to be the actual Archie Steam Farm download, and you're going to be met with a page that looks similar to this. What you guys are going to go do is you're going to hit Archie Steam Farm, um, and then scroll down, and then you go to the... Uh, I'm on Windows, so I'll go Win X64. If you're on Linux, do the same. It's the same process. So, anyways, it's going to download in the top right. You'll see that it's downloaded right there. What you're going to do from there is you're going to right click it and then you're going to hit Extract All. And then once it's done, you're going to be met with something like this. And after that, what you guys want to do it is go to Config Generator. You're going to hit that and then open it in Google Chrome or Edge. You're going to hit just once and then it's going to bring you to a page similar to this. So this is going to be the, the Config section. This is the most important part and uh, what actually makes the Config or the Archie Steam Farm work. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit ASF then you're going to hit toggle advanced settings you're going to scroll down and make sure IPC is selected um, this is a huge part if that's not turned on or check marked then it needs to be it needs to be check marked after that what you want to do is scroll down and then just hit download and then the ASF JSON file is going to download you're going to copy this and then what you're going to do from there is you're going to open up the file folder and then in the config section you want to paste it in there and the ASF uh, Johnson file will stay in there so what you want to do from there is you want to uh, go to the local host Sorry, I had to pause right there. Anyways, what you guys want to do is type in h http uh, dot slash slash localhost dot twelve four two, and uh, before you do that, you want to make sure that you run the Archie Steam Farm application. It's going to be a command prompt, and it's going to look something like this. What you want to do is it may take a minute. Um, you want to uh, just start connecting to the localhost and it may take a minute as I was saying uh, it may just start reloading and stuff and then it's gonna bring you to the page so what I like doing is I like changing the theme a little bit to dark mode because you know I'm a dorm dweller and I don't really like light I'm just joking guys anyways so what you guys want to do is you're gonna hit create bot and this is where you're gonna customize everything uh, you're going to put the, the bot name, the Steam login, the Steam password, and uh, you can do all these permissions um, as operator, master, whatever, uh, for the actual account. Um, and then you can do the uh, lootable items. So when if you're looking to get Steam cards and stuff, uh, your preferences, I would what I do, I always uh, set the preferences to like all and I really don't mess with anything besides um, besides that all function that I just selected uh, but anyways um, another thing is custom games while I'll, while idle uh, that's a huge thing so when the steam farm is not trying to find or trying to uh, grab cards so what Steam does is it gives you cards for the amount of time you play in a game. If the game doesn't have cards, then it won't give you cards. It will just straight give you the Steam hours on your account. Um, people are confused because what does that mean? All you're doing is it shows up that you've played the game, say, 2,000 hours or something, and you've had it going for, for a long time. Um, and then hours until drop that's just how quick you want to do it I recommend keeping that at three because I feel like you get the most out of it and it's not repetitive and fast and it doesn't rush the process 
Um, but uh, if you guys are really interested in uh, games played while idle, Yeah, so if you guys go to the uh, Steam page uh, where you can find these uh, the the store, uh, what you guys want to do to find the 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 number for the game itself, you guys want to say like I want to do Counter Strike. I already know this number by heart. What you guys want to do is if you see app slash seven three zero, you're just gonna copy and paste the seven three zero in the um in the games while idle you want to paste that and then it's pasted in there and that's the game uh in there now and that will that will idle and it will give you steam hours it won't give you steam cards because the only thing that this is for is giving you hours in the actual game and nothing else so most people don't want to have this running 24 7 on their computer if you're wanting more hours and stuff i recommend either getting a raspberry pi getting a virtual machine running it off of getting a getting a vps server or getting another computer i bought a dell opiplex for 50 bucks and i run it on the ethernet and I've had no issues. I've ran it for, I think, five months now, and I farm over 100 accounts. Uh, it doesn't, it's not very taxing on the computer as well, but if you want to run, as I said, 24-7, and you don't want to use your main computer, I suggest you guys using a virtual machine, a VPS server, or just another alternate computer, or a Raspberry Pi. Anything that's not your computer I recommend if you're trying to do it 24 7 because yes running a computer 24 7 is not good I always put my computer in sleep mode when I'm not using it and you can't turn the computer off or in sleep mode because it will automatically close the programs like you're not using it so what you guys need to also have a reminder to have is in order to farm anything you have to have the terminal and the local host open at all times in order to farm or uh, idle games. Um, so Archie Steam Farm, if you guys don't know, it's used to get Steam cards. And Steam cards can be used to get uh, kind of like badges on your account and stuff or your boost your account level, so on and so forth. So lots of people use this to uh, get those cards and look cooler pretty much on steam um but you can't use these the free games you have to have obviously the uh a purchase in the game or you have to purchase the game itself uh but anyways if you guys have any more questions it's a pretty simple setup i'm going to start throwing just different commands out uh on how to find how to do things on Archie Steam Farm. You can do a lot. If you guys um, want to go to like a website um, just for the commands, you can just type in ASF commands and then you hit this uh, top link right there. You scroll down and then you'll start seeing the, all the commands and stuff. And uh, it, it's pretty simple. Sometimes it's a little, it's kind of hard to understand, but I will run you guys through the ones that I like to use and um but yeah if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave a comment in the description or a comment in the comment section jeez and uh yeah i will get to you guys when i get to you have a great day guys peace